Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be introducing you to the Professional Outfits Pack for Character Creator. This is an awesome, eclectic, uh, new pack with a lot of selection for different types of outfits. Uh, I'm on the webpage right now, let's take a look at the webpage really briefly. So this pack comes with 31 different bases. Uh, each base contains a unique ID and this really helps material clothing producers um, to determine you know, what kind of stuff goes where, the patterns and everything like that. You can see all the coats and uh, shirts and stuff if I just quickly browse through these. Um, so you can use these, uh, if you're a developer, you can use these as bases for developing your stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the presets now. So under presets, you can see there's tons and tons and tons of different stuff. Now, uh, each preset contains specific dynamic texture settings. Uh, you can unlock the different texture channels and customize them on your own. Uh, you can add, uh, we have like uh, firefighter jackets, hunting jackets, and everything like that. Uh, vests for police, hunters. Uh, businessmen, and that's only the vest. We have uh, professional skirts as well, as well as uh, full body outfits, and uh, corsets, and uh, shoes, and socks. Uh, you can browse through these all on your own time. There's tons and tons and tons of stuff, as you can see, uh, all together 156 presets. And then there's 12 uh, preset characters that come in project form uh, in your uh, in character creator once you purchase this pack. So we have uh, these guys right here, and you'll see them uh, momentarily. Uh, as I go through the actual pack and character creator. And you can see the airline stuff, these presets right here, uh, beautiful, beautifully rendered using Indigo, uh, construction, uh, business, hospitality. These are all things that you can uh, create by uh, you know customizing a little bit, uh, adding a little bit of uh, your own custom textures. And I'll show you how to do that um, in other tutorials as well. You can uh, customize them with custom RGB masks, uh, diffuse masks, or diffuse maps and everything like that as well and uh, decals as well. We'll talk about that in other uh, tutorials. And uh, not to mention here the uh, substance materials that are included with each, uh, with each clothing item. Uh, they have four design layers that allow you to uh, you know, add dirt or uh, fabric or different types of textures to your, uh, to your shoes. You can see the same shoe with different patterns and uh, stuff going on right here. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual uh, pack itself in action. So here we are in Character Creator, and we have uh, a soldier boy here waiting for us. Let's take a look at the details on this uh, U.S. Army outfit. You can see we have uh, the, de the details are actually a, a hallmark of this uh, new pack. We have strong stitching, uh, really nice details and cargo pants, which we've never had before. I'm going to turn off my morph gizmo here. Uh, so we don't have that yellow stuff all over the screen. And you can take a look at all the nice uh, creases and uh, especially on the boots as well. You can see the real attention to detail here with the laces and the stitching and the uh, rubber soles and the aging and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Uh, let's take a look at another project here, which is this uh, Fireman. And you can see here it's the same, uh, the same cloth base but just different designs. So this one has the uh, firefighter design and you can see that nice stitching a little bit. A little bit better detail here because it's not camouflaged like the uh, last example was. Uh, but you can take a look at the uh, nice details. And this guy has his own uh, custom different types of boots uh, as well. So it's pretty much the same base, just uh, different styles. Let's take a look at uh, one final one, uh, this uh, construction worker right here. And we'll uh, then we'll get to customizing him. So you can see, again, the, uh, the same cargo pants. And this one has a uh, nice detail on the uh, zippers and everything. So uh, like I mentioned, a hall it's a, that's a hallmark of this pack is the uh, incredible attention to uh, details on the seams and textures and everything like that. So let's go ahead and uh, you, you can change all these uh, characters as well. Say, for example, you didn't want this uh, chubby construction worker. You wanted a hot beefcake construction worker instead. Well, you can just go to your morphs over here and we can choose something like uh, athletic male or strong male. Uh, let's choose the uh, strong male down here. And then we get this guy right here, much better, uh, much more handsome. And we can go and add some hair onto him as well. Let's use a hottest hairstyle, just this uh, side parted, uh, stylish looking hair. And there you go, looking fantastic. Let's take a look at another project example here. I'm going to load in this uh, chef project. And here you can see we have a chef who's maybe uh, partaking a little too much of his own uh, creations here. And we can change this chef to a female chef. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Let's go again to morphs here. And let's try something like uh, in the Essential Morphs. Another really great pack, by the way, is the Essential Morphs um, and Essential Clothing Packs for a Character Creator. You can check those out on the content store. Let's go ahead and load in this thin female here. And you can see when we do that, the uh, scarf, the chef scarf, is a little bit too large for her neck because the scarf is actually an accessory. If you go down here, you can see it's a chef scarf. And we can select that, and we can just use the R hotkey to scale it down slightly. Um, it's not going to conform to the body because it's an accessory. Uh, everything else will. We can uh, resize it to something uh, 
nice like that and maybe uh, give her some hair as well, something like this little ponytail might do. There you go. Now you can find all this stuff if you go under clothing. Uh, in clothing, the scarf, I believe, is in the others right here. And you can go to professional outfits. And we have the half aprons. We have the work gloves, ankle socks, calf socks, and everything like that. Uh, the scarf's actually, the scarf is an accessory, so it's in the accessory section here. Under uh, torso, I believe. There we go, professional outfit. And you can find the chef scarves right here. There's also uh, male scarves, uh, stylish looking scarves. Uh, female bow ties and uh, female scarves like this for uh, you know private school students or uh, you know Victorian era stuff as well and uh, we also have custom aprons which is where I was at before so if we go back to clothing here under others we have the half apron and you can see the uh, selection that we have here we can load in one of these uh, half aprons uh, say for example this one right here we can replace it or you can choose material only I'm just gonna replace it for now and you can see that's one of the uh, custom designs that comes with the uh, Professional Outfits content pack. Let's add in another project and uh, explore the other options that we have, uh, the other bases that are included in this pack. This time I'm loading in a FedEx employee, you can see right here, or MedEx in this case. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to totally customize this guy and, and completely change him into a different character. Uh, so what I'm going to do is under Morphs, first of all, uh, you can see this is very useful for, you know, corporate uh, uses, uh, business uses. Uh, there's a broad range of uses for all of these bases, and you'll you'll, you'll see that in, in a moment here. A diverse selection of, of cloth bases, and we'll explore that in just a moment. I'm going to change this guy into a, uh, we're going to go and choose Athletic Male here uh, from our Essential Morphs content pack. And we'll change his skin color as well. I'm just going to go to uh, Skin Color over here, and under Essential Skin, we'll choose the Athletic Male. There you go, so we've just changed ethnicity and body appearance and a few simple clicks. And let's take that hair and delete the hair because I think he has custom hair underneath. There you go, that nice uh, scalp fade right there. And there's a whole uh, wide variety of business uses for this. I mean, you can change that logo to anything you want, like McDonald's or anything. We can uh, explore that in other tutorials. Um, but yeah, that's basically how easy it is to change the characters and keep the same base. So let's take a look at a couple of other options for the clothing bases as well. I'm going to go to cloth over here. And under shirts, uh, under professional outfits, we have all sorts of different uh, uh, shirts right here. I'm going to press control one and that's going to give me a different view of my folder so I can actually see the names. You can see we have closed collar, long sleeve shirts, short, short, uh, short sleeve shirts, which is uh, this one right here. Um, we also have these v-neck scrub shirts, which are useful for, you know, prison outfits or nurse garb. I'm going to load in this nurse shirt right here, and we're going to change this guy into a nurse momentarily. Uh, what we need to do is delete the uh, open collar sleeve shirt here, or short sleeve shirt. We're going to change this guy into a nurse. And we also have, to go along with this uh, scrub shirt, we have scrub pants. So let's go to the pants here, and under professional outfits, we have, here's the cargo pants, uh, like the firefighter army and uh, hunter stuff that I showed you before. Uh, these scrub pants, you can have the jail stuff and the nurse stuff. I'm going to just select the nurse pants here, and that's going to replace the other pants. And we also have different slacks for professional use, and we'll get to that in just a moment. So you can see we have, uh, you know, medical uses as well. Uh, a lot of professional stuff, like I mentioned. Uh, for shoes, we can change his shoes to uh, professional outfit shoes. We have these canvas shoes, which might be uh, suitable for nurses in the hospital. There you go. Now let's completely change this guy again. We're going to just go through all the different stuff that's included in this pack, and we're going to change him into a businessman now. So I'm going to go start with the pants. Or actually, start with the shoes. Start from the bottom up. We'll go to professional outfits, and we have these nice leather shoes selection right here. I'm going to load in these nice faded brown leather ones. There you go. And we'll change the pants to slacks. Uh, so again, that professional outfits pack, slacks. We have these nice, uh, let's choose these uh, gray slacks here. There you go. Or we can also choose these uh, blue ones. I like the blue ones. That they match kind of better with the uh, shoes. There you go. And then we'll uh, load in some shirts here as well. Uh, under shirts, professional outfits. Oops, we're under uh, jackets here, not shirts. I always get those confused. We'll go to professional outfits. And again, I'm going to choose open or closed collar long sleeve shirts. So these are very professional looking uh, shirts that we haven't didn't have in previous packs. I'm going to just load in the plain white one here. And you can see it goes on the same layer as the uh, scrub shirt. So let's delete that scrub shirt. Again, you can really layer stuff, which I'm going to show you in just a moment here. Uh, we can also layer this uh, over top of this long sleeve uh, professional looking shirt here with a vest. And those can be found in coats. Uh, actually, they're called waistcoats. So let's go to the professional outfits folder here. And under waistcoat, I'm just going to load in this, load in this nice waistcoat sea vest. There we go. And we can, uh, you can see it's kind of breaking through the belt there. If you see that happening, all you need to do is go to conform 
and calculate collision with your object selected or the clothing item selected rather and it'll fix it right up for you so we have this nice um you know leather on the back uh, kind of a fabric on the front uh vest now he's looking like a sort of a banker dude or something let's give him a nice tie so we can go to uh others and in the professional outfits we have the thick neckties so we finally have these available and they look really fantastic there you go he's getting fancier and fancier and then for the final touch, we can layer over a nice business jacket on top of this. So let's go to the professional outfits folder and business suit. And you can see this is where we have the uh, waistcoats, uh, like I mentioned before, field jackets, and the safety vests. So you can have the hunting safety vest or the hunting vest there as well. I'm just going to load in this business suit uh, A. And now you can see he's looking fantastic indeed. We have really detailed uh, stitching along the shoulders and the pockets and everything like that. These business suits are uh, are are stitched together a lot better than the previous ones. They actually complement the shoulders a lot more. And you can see as well on the sleeves that we, we can see the uh, the actual shirt poking out beyond the sleeve of the business suit, which is a lot more uh, detailed. And we can you know, pose this guy, make him give him a nice pose. Uh, go to calibrate here and just give him this uh, zero one pose. And now he looks like he stepped straight out of a fashion magazine right here, looking uh, suave and handsome. And if we wanted to change this guy into like a Mr. Burns type character, we can do that as well. Let's go to uh, Morphs here, just have a little bit of fun. And under Morphs, we have uh, Thin Mail. I'm just going to double click that Thin Mail Morph. There you go. Let's give him some pale white skin like Mr. Burns has. Uh, we can choose the skinny male skin right here. And maybe some uh, old man hair as well. Under uh, Party Fun, we have the uh, bald man hair. And what we need to do here is go into the Appearance Editor really quickly. So with our character uh, selected, let's select the actor and go into the appearance editor because we're going to get rid of his uh, scalp there we don't want that to scalp it looks a little bit weird if he's a balding old man so let's go to the uh, under actor we can choose a uh, skin head and their skin head we have a uh, hair and then scalp and change from type 1 to none and there we go that's looking a bit more accurate we can also add some age on him as well by going to skin head surface normals and let's just pump up the uh, the age on all of these uh, values right here there we go. Let me increase the strength there. So now he's looking more and more like a like a more realistic Mr. Burns, I guess. Uh, we can go with the forehead as well. Increase the age on the forehead there. There we go. So now we have this uh, old-looking Scrooge-type character. We can calibrate him as well and give him a nice uh, model pose. There you go. Looking mean as always. Let's try another example. This time we're going to choose a female example. So I'm going to go and choose this full body suit here. We don't want to save this project. And we're going to turn this character uh, into one that resembles Black Widow from the Avengers. You can see the uh, suit is very reminiscent of that indeed. Uh, we can change the face slightly by going to, uh, whoops, not uh, hair there, morphs. And we'll go to just choose that female A face. And we happen to have a hair as well that's uh, very suitable uh, for, uh, very similar to the uh, Under Hottest Hairstyles. Very similar to Scarlett Johansson's hair in that film. And there you can see we have this uh, cool looking outfit. And you can find those under clothing. Uh, full body and professional outfits right here. We have cat suits. We have corsets, uh, even the swimming uh, swimming suit, the one piece swimsuit there as well, and overalls where you can find all your farmer goods. So let's go ahead and change this character. Say she's, for example, she's going undercover at the Playboy Mansion. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take her uh, uh, cat suit here and we're going to delete the cat suit. And that's going to leave her with this leather corset. So we're going to choose a different type of corset. Uh, let's go again to full body corsets and let's choose this nice sexy one here with the cool design. You can see the belly button there seems to be sort of an issue. Again, you can just fix that by, uh, whoops, not calibrate, conforming. Uh, make sure you select it first. There we go. And calculate collision. A couple of times should do the trick. There we go. Now what we can do is add some uh, nice long socks as well. You can see the, the incredible stitching, the details on these leather boots. We have uh, some nice detail like I mentioned before let's add some uh, high socks onto her uh, onto her as well so we're going to go to clothing and others and under professional outfits we have calf socks right here these are for like soccer player type situations which we'll explore in other tutorials and we have ankle socks which are for normal people I guess um, half aprons like I mentioned uh, showed you before fingerless gloves which she has on right now and I'll show you how to customize that uh, there's also work gloves for construction workers or all sorts of professions and these white looking gloves the fantastic white gloves and we'll choose long socks so there's different types of socks here that you can uh, check out on your own time i'm just going to load in these long socks d 
because they have a nice semi-transparent uh, look to them, very uh, sexy looking. And then we can go to the shoes and professional outfits, and there's basketball shoes. There are canvas shoes, like I mentioned before, leather shoes, which we explored, and knee boots. I'm going to load in these, uh, whoops, these softer leather boots. So they're more like a suede type boot. Uh, the ones that she currently has on are knee boots C. There you go. So that's looking a bit more, uh, a bit softer anyways. And we also have, if we go into uh, accessories here, under uh, hair, uh, under party fun, or head rather, not hair, under party fun, we have these specialized bunny ears for the Playboy Bunny. So our Playboy Bunny is pretty much complete. Let's take a look at her gloves, uh, like I mentioned before. So with the gloves, I'm going to show you a quick, uh, really quick trick on how to make any sort of fabric semi-transparent. So with the fingerless gloves selected, let's activate the appearance editor. And once that loads up, I'm going to go down here and look into the input map. So I'm going to load up the diagnostic map. We're just going to do this. We're going to explore more details about this in other tutorials. Uh, so when I, when I enable this, you can see there's two different colors. There's red and black. And these two different colors correspond, if we go to the fabric section, they, they correspond with the red and the black right here, these two base fabrics with the respective colors in parentheses. So I'm going to go to the base fabric black, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on the opacity channel. And I'm going to find a special opacity map that I have prepared. I'm in the wrong folder here though. Under my production resources, we have opacity maps. I'm just going to load in this uh, mesh one right here. And you can see when we do that, we get this uh, nice mesh look on our uh, on our glove. However, the hand seems or the fingers seem to be cut off, and we can easily fix that. That's because the mesh is covering the fingers, and they're they're assuming that the fingers are not needed to be shown. So it's kind of saving resources there. Let's go to conform and just deselect hide inner mesh, and that's going to restore the hands that you see right there. And we have these beautiful uh, mesh gloves right there. But I think the Playboy Bunny will change her gloves. We're going to go to clothing and others, professional outfits, and we're going to give her some of those fancy looking white gloves here. Okay, now for the last transformation, I'm going to turn her into something a little bit more professional. So say her job requires her to go undercover as a casino dealer. Uh, well, the first thing I'm going to do is delete these uh, boots because they're a little too sexy. So we're going to select those boots and delete them. And you can see we have those nice uh, socks remaining with the nice stitching and everything like that. Very beautiful. We could probably conform those a little bit more, but uh, we're not going to worry too much about that right now. I'm going to change the socks. Uh, we're actually going to delete the socks as well. Let's take the long socks there and delete them. And we're going to just go to shoes and with the base version of character creator, you have these high heels. There we go. Looking a little bit more professional there. And what I can do is layer over top of this corset. So uh, nobody knows she has this corset underneath. We can go to clothing and under skirts, we have the pencil skirt, the essential professional looking skirt. So we'll just load that in looking uh, much fancier now. And we can give her a nice professional shirt as well on top of that. So let's go to shirts, professional outfits. Again, I'm going to control one here. We want an Closed collar, short sleeve shirt. There we go. And I'm just going to see which one I need here. Uh, this professional one looks okay. A plain white base. All right, so she's looking more and more professional. We probably need to get rid of those uh, bunny ears down to her accessories there. And if she wants to be taken seriously at her job. And let's go ahead and load in a vest as well. So those waistcoats that we saw before, we can uh, layer one of those on top as well. Uh, under professional outfits, waistcoat. Let's load in this uh, nice fancy red one or salmon pink or whatever with a nice pattern on it and we need to conform that again as well. Uh, let's calculate collision. There we go. And for a finishing touch we can go over to uh, others and under professional outfits we have, uh, nope sorry not uh, others, we need to go to accessories here for the torso. Uh, professional outfit and we have the female bow tie so we'll give her one of those. There you go looking fantastic and we can give her a bit of a shorter hairstyle as well. Let's go to uh, not hottest hairstyle, let's go to the party fun pack and give her these uh, bangs with short hair. There you go, looking fantastic. So with a few simple clicks, we can change her from a you know Playboy bunny to a secret agent to a casino dealer. And we can give her a nice, uh, sexy looking pose as well. And there you go. So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. I just wanted to introduce you to the capabilities of this pack. We didn't explore too much about customizing other than the simple clicking of presets. Uh, but like I mentioned, there's a wide variety of business uses, uh, many assorted options for, for customizing your characters. The uh, options are literally endless. There's a diverse selection of, of bases to use. Uh, if you have the Essential Morphs pack, the Essential cl uh, Clothing pack as well, uh, you can really create almost anything that you need. Um, so that's about it for this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, check out the forums at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.